All right, I've been seeing a ton of people saying they've got problems with their X carriage when they get their printer um, and it comes from the factory loose like this, okay? These are all the tools that you're gonna need. You're gonna need the Allen key that will undo the fan shroud. You're gonna need another Allen key that fits into the uh, wheels. And then you're gonna need the wrench that will uh, fit onto the nut that holds the wheel into place and also that adjusts the eccentric spacers. All right, the first thing you're gonna need to do is remove this fan shroud. So uh, use the small Allen key here and just undo these two uh, bolts right here. When you do, the fan shroud will come off and if you have an auto bed leveling sensor, that bracket will come off too. So just put those aside and then that way you can get access to the X carriage wheels underneath. Now that we have the fan shroud and the bed leveling sensor out of the way, you can see the bottom of the X carriage and you can see here, this is what's going on. It's loose, okay? So when people keep saying, tighten the uh, nut for the bolt, or sorry, tighten the nut for the uh, the wheels, tighten the nut for the wheels, they're not actually referring to the Allen bolt and the nut here. They're referring to the eccentric spacer that's in between. So uh, I'm gonna explain a little bit what the eccentric spacer is for. This is um, an X-rail, an X-carriage for a totally different printer, but it uses the same principle. It's got two wheels on the top, one wheel on the bottom. And using the eccentric spacer, it allows these wheels to come closer or further together to allow the carriage to be tight or loose on the rail. So an eccentric spacer is literally just a kind of like a washer um, and it's got an offset hole, okay? So as you turn it one way or the other, it's gonna move the wheel up and down. So you can see right now on this particular X carriage, um, it's actually loose, okay? Right, but if I take my wrench and I adjust the eccentric spacer underneath here, if I turn it one way or the other, you can actually see it moving, right? You can see that bolt moving closer or further away. So if I turn it this way, suddenly, Oh, but it's still not quite right, so I'll adjust a little bit more. There, there's no more wiggle, okay? And it and it slides. It slides better, but it's a little bit tight, so maybe it needs to be adjusted again, right? So basically, you need to kind of play with it and find out what kind of tension works. And you, when you found the right sweet spot, um, then you can tighten up the nut and the bolt, or sorry, the, 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 the nut down here and the bolt up here on this side, and then that way that'll set it into place. So to tune the eccentric spacer, it's really easy. You just take your wrench and you're gonna put it inside here and you're gonna turn it uh, one way or the other, okay? And what's gonna happen is, is it's gonna slowly move that wheel up or down. And what you wanna do is you wanna just keep turning the spacer until you feel that the carriage is firm, okay? But you don't wanna squish the wheel so much, so tight that it's binding and preventing this whole X carriage from moving. So I'm gonna show you just like, you know, it's just a tiny little bit, but like, even there, that's too loose, right? So you wanna just adjust that a little bit and snug it up so that this carriage and the wheels aren't moving. Uh, it's not jiggling loose. Um, a, uh, I think a, a good, you know, base of measurement is that you don't want, you wanna be able to turn this wheel, you wanna be able to turn the wheels by hand and have the carriage move, okay, without a ton of resistance. Um, and again, just check to make sure that there isn't a lot of play going on, right? So adjust it how you need to. When you're done, tighten up the uh, Allen bolt by using their Allen key in the back, and then tighten up the nut with your wrench, okay? Oops, it's the other, is it the other side? Yeah, it's this side. So tighten that up. You might need to adjust it back and forth, right? So maybe when you tighten this, you've made the thing too tight and it's binding. Go back in and adjust that eccentric spacer again, and that should uh, improve things. All right, you can see that we've adjusted the eccentric spacer underneath. There is no wiggle in the X carriage anymore. And if I turn the wheels, right, it moves the X carriage left and right. I can turn any of them and it'll do that, but it's not, I don't feel that it's so tight that it's binding, okay? So once that's, uh, you know, working properly, you can reinstall your sensor and your fan shroud just by putting the uh, screws back on, okay? And then you're good to go. So I've reinstalled the fan shroud and my uh, bed leveling sensor. If your printer's got one, make sure to, make sure that that's in position and snugged back up. And uh, you can see now everything's good to go. Alright, so I hope that helps people out with their 
uh, X carriage problems and uh, clarifies a few things about eccentric spacers. All right. Thanks for tuning in.